a little windy out here. I'm back again. Today, the uh, rear sunshades came in. Uh, install them, they install real quick on the side there. They cover the whole glass. Uh, you can see the net there. ECS tuning, they come in this bag that you sort of store them and they fold up real easy. In fact, when I first took it out of the box, took it out of the bag, they unfolded like real quick. So that's kind of the instructions of what it, it comes with. It's a genuine BMW kit, so it has like a parts number and, and everything. It comes with a bag of uh, glue, like little uh, door anchors. You could glue these to your door and, you know, just secure it. Especially, like, I'm assuming if the window is down, you kind of want these anchored securely so the wind doesn't blow it out the window. Let's just go to the back. Train is running by. So, sorry for the camera, guys. Yeah, so this is the net. It pretty much, it's not anchored to anything right now, so. Um, that bit clips in to... Ah, it just fell right out. So you can kind of see how it looks without the um, without the shade there. I'm gonna just install it right quick. So you have this like clippy thing in the back. Sorry for the focus. I'm actually getting a new camera. So that is obvious where that goes. That would anchor inside of of that like that to hold it secure. And you would just snap the rest of it into place. Now because it's the shape of the window, it pretty much anchors itself and I'm having a hard time doing this with one hand but so I'm just anchoring it you put it on the other side of the door pin there and then the rest of it just snaps right in against the glass now like I said with the window down you kind of would want this anchored because it'll just blow right out the window so as long as the windows are up you really don't need those clips but the clips is they glue onto the door edges so you could just secure it in there in place. And that's it, I mean, um, they just came in the mail, it's like the afternoon, so I haven't had a chance to test it out in on the direct sunlight, but they look pretty good. I mean, the whole thing was $99, uh, $90, 100 shipped or whatever. So a little pricey for what you get, it's just a piece of mesh with wiring around it. But um, it's the only way I could get uh, sunshade back in this car without doing tints, I don't wanna do tints. So let's just go back outside, show you guys kind of what it looks like from the outside. The sun is setting over here. So that's the rear window shade. And what I'm finding makes the glass very reflective as to, um, well, glass is reflective now, but I'll step back so you guys can see how it kind of looks. You see the front glass isn't um, doesn't have the shade and the back glass does. So it just makes it look tinted, sort of, um, semi-tinted. From the angle, so you can see through the front glass, but the back glass is it's you can't really see in there, so you can't really see what's in there. So it's kind of kind of cool in that regard. You can open the door, see um, the mess, baby seat and stuff, and that's the mesh in this glass panel there. So so far, so I like it. It's a little pricey. I mean, it's probably worth about thirty dollars to make these, maybe less. <laughs> But um, it's the only shade that fits in this car and it looks, it looks good. That's it.